There we go. Finally. If I can just get through this traffic, I can go fishing. I'm driving through Nashville and like 30, 40 minutes away from kayaking a river. I've never kayaked before, but I've had a lot of requests from people that watch my videos to fish this river. So um, I'm gonna do it today. Hopefully I'll be there in just a little bit. So here I am. We're at the Harpeth River. It's a lot bigger than I thought, but we're gonna do the Narrows. So I drove three hours just to kayak um, for like five miles. So we get back in the seat. But I'm back with Tyler and hopefully this is gonna be kind of some fun. It's kind of early in the year for this, but I think the fish are aggressive. Tyler was bank fishing earlier and already caught two smallmouths, so that's a good sign. So let's get these kayaks in the water. The crescent light tackle? Yeah. It's supposed to be really, really good. It's just, uh, it's pretty much close, similar to that. Yeah. Except for like, just, it's still fishing it, but it's just, it's like a thousand dollars too. It's like. I'm bringing three rods with me and uh, I can't believe how warm it is. I'm already about to be sweating after unloading these kayaks. It's a little steep getting down, but check out this river. I'm, I'm glad. I'm really excited to get on a new body of water. I love getting any kind of new river. But this is, like I said, this is one a lot of people have recommended, the Harpeth. And um, it's the last day of February, but it's, it feels like spring and I'm hoping these fish are gonna be active. There's a tunnel going through right there that goes to the other side of the mountain. But we're gonna go on the river all the way around. Crazy. Get a snack. Bring it back. All right, my camera's been on an hour. And so we've been out here a little less than an hour. Uh, Tyler had one and came off. I, I've got a couple of little bites. Really, I hadn't got nothing dialed in. So this is all new. Like, I don't know anything about this river. It's really in it. It's also, like I said, last day of February, which you don't know what the fish are doing. They could be all sitting out here in the middle feeding. They could be in the current. They're Right now, they really haven't been in. We have, we've fished all the little slack water places. Haven't got much, but. I'm changing, I got a spinner bait, stick with the umdinger, and I'm gonna put a crankbait on, because sometimes something like that can just make a little difference. Also, I got snacks. I got the LeBrons. I got the LeBron cheddar and sour cream. In honor of him breaking the uh, scoring record, I'll eat some of his rubbles. There you go. There's all kinds of little bluegill right here where I'm at. Wish I had brought my light rod. I knew I should have brought it. Oh, oh, there we go. Spot, Tyler. Yeah, there was another one right underneath me. They're way up in here. Fish number one for me. Tyler's got a couple of little smallmouth. I end up getting a little spot. That uh, should be a Kentucky spot up in this river over here near Nashville. It was in this little creek channel. Came up in here, there was a bunch of little sunfish and I threw out there, I had a bite and then I saw him come and hit my lure. You know, there's all kinds of bluegill up in this little bitty channel. I come up in here and get a fish. First fish of the day. Oh, oh there you go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> How did I miss it? I got eight the whole thing. I set the hook and he spit it back and he comes out. Oh, I got. 
<laughs> no. He ate my lure in half. Come on. I was gonna eat it. Got it. Oh, he's nice. I side fished. I side fished this one. I think it's the one I missed three times. Oh wow, he's bigger than I thought. I got a pound and a half. Got that on a crawl. That was really cool to see. I watched that fish come hit it, spit it out, hit it again. That's a good fish. That's a 14 inch largemouth, close to 15 inches. Chubby little fish up in this channel. There's three or four of them running, to get, running around together. Oh, I see another one running to this ledge right here. All right, let me let this guy go. There we go. All of a sudden, two fish in five minutes. All right, you're free. He's just sitting there. I thought it was a spot, but it's a healthy largemouth. Bill, it's definitely worth going up in that little creek. Let's get to see if we can. Man, we're down here for almost a couple hours and I haven't gotten out of the river yet. Get a little rabbit here. Something's got to figure something out before we get to the end. Had a hit. <laughs> I saw you set the hook. I thought he had it. Oh! Got one? Yeah, I do. That's another spot. <laughs> I can't get a smallmouth out of here. In the river that's known for smallmouth. I come to a smallmouth river and I get spots. A little Kentucky. First fish out of the river, though. Ain't the spot where you're supposed to be. Yeah. Right. Huh. All right. Let's see if this continues. Oh yeah. All right. Let's go in here and smash them. Uh, let's go in here and smash them. Let's do it. They're all gonna be pushing up there. Already getting ready to spawn. Sitting up here in this creek somewhere. All right, come on, somebody gotta get something worth taking a picture of. Need a 17, 17 inch smallmouth, minimal. Oh, there's a good fish, there's a fish. Oh! Came off. I didn't get a good hook on him. So we came up the creek, and this is where that water that we saw going out the cave. This is where it's coming out. This is like four miles downstream, but it's like just on the other side of this big hill. Now I just wanted to catch, I just wanted to get a video off the harpeth, but I can't, I don't want to put a video out and be like, fish the harpeth. Yeah. Yeah, no smallmouth, no. <laughs> now forget that. We weren't getting one. Well. There's some, like I want to. I'm telling you dude, there's, I mean that's I know. crazy. It's like, yeah. I mean I've caught some giants out of here. That 
Oh, no, don't give up. Don't give up yet. Still got a quarter mile to go. There we go. Finally. Nice fish. It, yeah, solid. If I can get him in here. Yeah, he's a good, good smolly. Good smolly. Oh, and I'm all tangled up. Yeah. As soon as we can see the, the ramp and I catch me a good smallmouth. Right where he should be, finally. Look at that. That's what we've been fishing for all day. I thought for sure we'd get a few of these. And they just, I hit the same spots, did everything. But I did get a couple, as soon as I switched to this, this white and chartreuse, I seemed like I did get a few more fish on it. A few more bites. Look at that, that's a pretty small mouth. Nothing monster, but just a really good, a Tennessee smallie out of a, Nice river. Looks like he's about 16 and a half. All right. All right, there it is. We can see the tag out basically, but maybe there's another one coming. Pretty fish there. Finally, been waiting on this yeah, bump yeah. all day. Tyler told me to keep the faith. To keep the faith. Like 10 minutes ago. And then bam, there it is. Never, never doubt him. We always gotta make it dramatic. That is a good fish. He hammered that thing. <laughs> We're literally at the ramp. Yeah. I'm like, why even cast? Why even cast? I'm there, it's too late. It's been slow. The end was all right, I guess. <laughs> Ain't as big as that last one, but too small mouth. These two smallmouth are within sight of each other. Of, and it was five and a half miles. The ramp is literally right here. That was my last cast. I was gonna pick it up. I'm like barely reeling it and his guy thumps it. About 13 incher. <laughs> I'll take him though. Slow day, but ended off with a couple of good ones though. Made up for it. <laughs>